our special time over here, you are going to be scientists and you're going to go look outside for different colors. Students went on a small field site visit to the playground to do a color hunt. They collected different concrete objects including flowers, vegetables and toys. What have you got here? Carrots. Oh, you got lots of carrots. Are you going to eat these carrots? No. Why not? Because they're yucky. Why are they yucky? Because they're over there. But do you know carrots always come from the ground? Even when you eat carrots in the canteen, they come from outside. They grow in the ground. You can just wash them and you can eat them. Yeah. Yeah. Once we were back in the classroom, students worked in pairs to sort their items into categories. They tallied the number of items they found and wrote down the number. We then added up the numbers and recorded the information with a 3D bar chart using snap cubes. Good, Iris, what is this? Flowers, a purple one. Oh, very good. The next step was learning how plants differ from animals and inanimate objects like toys. Students watched short video clips of seeds growing and changing into plants and realized that the difference between plants and objects is that plants grow and change. But I don't like red ants because they always bite us. But are, the, are these me. red ants? No. no, so they're not going to bite you, uh -huh. so it's okay. <laughs> now you like them, Iris? Yeah, because they're just scared. They're trying to go home. Don't worry about them. You cannot eat it. Yeah, we can oh, eat it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you finish them, we can hang them in the window. Because he will dry. Ah, oh, the paint will dry if we hang them in the window? To better imagine what the kidney beans will grow into, we made 3D art of plants using soil, yarn, clay, and beans. Try that. Yes. It's good now. It's good now? Perfect. What's that? This is a little bag of soil that I got from outside. Okay, I'm gonna put some more. Mix, mix, mix. I don't have a Is that enough or do you want more? More. Please. Please. So, can you move those so they touch the stem? Okay, good job. Right, because the leaves are growing and out of the stem, the so they have to touch the stem. You give me here? the roots that grow down into the ground. Okay, so can you tell me what are these? Very good. Vote for one vegetable that you like, okay? Your favorite vegetable. I like carrots. There's no carrots. Potatoes, tomatoes, I like, and I like peas. Potatoes. To conclude our PBL, our young investigators practice data collection. They went to all of the classes in the kindergarten and asked them to vote on which vegetable they wanted us to grow.
voted for the snap piece? Nine. Nine friends. That's a lot, right? Yesterday, we practiced the steps of planting some tomato seeds in the classroom. And this morning, we reviewed them with these posters. How to plant tomato seeds. We separated the students into two groups, yellow and blue. And each group worked together as a team to organize these pictures into the correct steps. Step one, put some coconut husks. Step two, put soil. And after they put the pictures in the correct order and they could explain to us what each step is, I assigned them a role. They came outside and they planted their seeds without any help from the teachers. They did it all by themselves. We need to win on this teamwork. We have some over here too. 